man, it looks like Will RPG me has alcohol. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need one too. <sighs> Alright, I'm ready. Also, all the music you hear in this game, I included from the YouTube free music library, and I'll include the credits in the description. Welcome back to another Steam free to play review, and this is Rise of the Rise of Pirates. You have your four classes, which are Human, Dagon, Lycan, and Cyborg. You can only pick two of them, but then you get a little bit of a customization screen where you can change their, how your character looks a little bit because it's kind of hard to tell how they look. It's mostly like just changing their hair. This game, for whatever reason, while I was recording it, wouldn't record like all the extra text boxes, like the dialogue that the characters have, and like opening up a shop or your inventory, which is really weird, but I'll, I'll explain it to the best of my abilities and you'll just kind of have to use your imagination. You're not missing out on a whole lot though. So once you hit level 20 after you, while you're doing the tutorial, you level up super fast. You have like three choices. It basically says once you build something to like 50%, you either get more strength, attack speed. I can't remember what the third thing was, but it didn't really have, seemed to have like a big impact after I already, after I chose it. It did give me a push ability though, which was kind of cool because I could like push other players. And then like once you're leaving the tutorial, you can pick between being a pirate or taking the pirate dinghy boat or taking the marine boat and I took the marine boat because it's bigger and looks better so once you pick your starting faction I don't know even how much of an impact that has on the game because like the main storyline is like super short you do the first area and then there's a quest giver they tell you to find this dude to like learn about your past but basically he just tells you to keep playing the game so you can support it and figure out more about it because this is still in its alpha so I don't know if they're gonna build upon the main storyline or what this game is a grind fest so once you get to the main island, something that's really important in this game is like the weapon you choose to use. So that chick with the two swords in the bottom left of the screen, she'll sell you your training weapon and you need to use that as much as possible. This is where you get your profession professions, like blacksmith and mining, which is just more grinding because you have to do so much mining before you can get to the next vein and so much like blacksmithing before you can get to the next recipe. Like. I had to get to 30 mining before I can mine like bronze or was it 10 to make bronze and then I had to get to like 40 before I could make something that wasn't an ingot which is a item that's like commonly used in crafting to like build something else it doesn't even really build anything so it's a lot of grinding in this game if you're looking for a game that's a lot of grinding this is for you granted this is the best MMORPG I've played in a long time because I haven't played one in a long time. I think the last time I played an MMO was like 2011. So I literally had to kill these snakes for like maybe an hour and a half to get 10 items that they were supposed to drop. Like the RNG on the drops is so crazy. I don't know if I just have the worst luck or what happened. So I decided to join an event to like see what it was like. It was called Capture the Cow. And once you register for an event, you can't attack, you can't do anything, you can't like play the game anymore until you get into the event. So I was like, alright, this looks like a speed event, I'm gonna run through and like pass everybody and that's all I gotta do, right? So like, I'm trying to find my way through these barrels that you have to destroy and like find my closest way to the end. But it's actually a capture the flag type game. And this is like the first enemy I see this guy right here. This is my rival, by the way. <laughs> You'll see later on, that dude is my actual rival. But, yeah, I'm just following everybody because I have no idea what's going on. But I realize you need to be a certain level before you even attempt these events if you want to have like any impact on it. Because everybody in this is like super high level. There's admins playing it. Granted, it's the alpha, so they're just kind of like testing it around still. But that dude had a mount. And then... Here comes the legendary pig and mount. This dude, <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> I saw him and I tried to fight him and he murdered me. <laughs> I'm dead, that's me being dead. It didn't show the dialogue box, but literally I had to sit here for like an hour and a half <laughs> being dead. That's an exaggeration of course, but it was a really long time. As you can already tell, I even edited this port. He's dead too. He's like, oh man, what do we do? We're dead. Like we both chat to each other. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing to do and when you're like talking to people in the chat one night it shows a little dialogue box over your head which is kind of neat 
This really reminds me of like a 2D RuneScape, and RuneScape was never 2D, it always felt like a 2.5D or 3D kind of game. But this game is just such a grind, there's no... There's a lot of in-game stuff to work towards, but I don't know if it's worth it because like, I grinded to level 120 something I think, and still didn't get to like any of the in-game stuff. I think it goes to like the level 600. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get my vengeance and pig and master 420 or whatever murdered me again. <laughs> so... So I was like, alright, I'll give this one more try. I even asked the people that were playing the game, I was like, is there any way to get out of the event mode? <laughs> like, can I just leave this? And then the admin told me, he was like, oh, you can log out for three minutes. I was like, oh, I guess that's an answer, but it's not what I was <laughs> looking for. I was just hoping you could like, Right click something, quit. But no, you gotta stay till the end pretty much. So this green haired dude, my uh, previously mentioned rival, we start fighting and I thought we, I was winning because it showed him doing like 400 damage. It showed a 400 damage marker and 100 damage. And I was doing 400 damage to mobs. So I was like, oh man, I'm hurting him. And then I noticed that he was the one doing 400 damage. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> And uh, I didn't want to die again because you literally can't do anything until you respawn, which is a hot minute. So this is me like making a run for it. And I'm just like trying to live and this dude is like hunting me down. On the bright side though, it's really hard to hit people that are running away apparently because this guy cannot get me. I'm breaking his ankles, trying to survive the best I can. Honestly, this was like the most exciting part of the game was running away from this dude and trying not to give him a kill kill there's things that they do really decently I wouldn't say they do anything particularly well but the fact that you have a lot of things to grind towards I guess is the plus because you can grind the level 600 you can grind a, grind a lot of mining and blacksmithing and it takes a lot of time if you're into that so this dude crippled me when your health is a certain like amount you can't run anymore so I'm like having to extra try hard to break his ankles now. I'm like, bro, you ain't killing me. I'm gonna live. And he hits me all the time and I'm like, nah, I don't want to die. <laughs> Get off me. I don't know how he got out of the barrel trap. Like a barrel spawned on him and he was coming after me still. Like, look at that. He just like juked through it diagonally and I'm just like, bro, get away from me. I want to live. I'm trying to get out of this event <laughs> without dying. Oh, man. But yeah. Even though it seems like he's a being annoying this was actually the most exciting part of the game for me to be real granted I just cannot emphasize this enough this is still an alpha but I it just kind of looks like a runescape game to me a really bad graphic runescape game so this is the boat that you take to get to different islands which is kind of cool because they have a bunch of different islands there's like a bunch of in-game stuff kinda like there's a bunch of stuff to grind towards, so, like you can go to different islands, there's not much to do except for like get these quests that things drop and kill them. So I had to grind my mastery with my weapon, like how I was telling you pick a weapon and you keep using it. So you get mastery, and the more you use it the more mastery you get. Once you get a hundred in it, you can right click the mastery icon and say master this and that's the class you become. So I finally, after like killing these pirates, because I'm a bad dude now, I'm getting pirate repu or marine reputation, because that's who I chose at the start. I was like, well, I picked them at the start, I might as well stick with them. I don't know if you have to do that or not, but that's just how I was feeling in my soul. So I finally get it, and I missed with my first skill that I got with the class after all this grinding, and I hit it, and it does 100 damage <laughs> compared to the 600 I'm hitting normally. So... Yeah, this game gets a 4 out of 10, because even though it's like a pretty average MMO and it's in this alpha so it still can grow from here, I don't think it's ever going to be a really big game. Like, they have things they can keep, but they have a lot of things to improve on. There's some good things, like they have like a lot of things to grind toward. It's not a super short MMO where you've already done everything and you don't have anything to work towards. But they don't have anything that's like super interesting and making me want to do that. Even the events are just like the high level people are just OP at it and there's nothing else like the low levels you can do. Unlike Maple Story, if you played the new Maple Story 2, like everybody can play the events is completely skill based or luck based. It's not based on what level you are. But at the same time that can be a good thing if you actually spend your time and grind, it gives you makes you feel rewarded because everybody else is just fodder to you. But Thanks for watching as always, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!